which I got something to get off my chest. This is for you, karaoke people and Brazilian people. Look at me, look at me. We don't have all the money in the world. We are broke. Well, of course, he has the gringa for the money because he knows she has it. And boom, there she goes, she has it. I'm like, the fact that the writers of this show <laughs> made it that way. He asked every other friend of his that is karaoke. And they said, oh, I can't help you, can't help you. Call up the Italian ladies like, oh yes, I need money. How much? 10,000 here. Oh, there you go, no problem. <laughs> no, no, it is a problem. It is a problem, y'all. Hi, I'm Gabi. And I'm KD. I'm from Brazil. And I'm from the US. And today. We're going to be talking about things from the show, how to be a karaoke. The show is amazing. I was scrolling through Hulu and just so happened to see the show on Hulu. It was confusing to me because why would a show targeted obviously to Latin audiences be on Hulu that is not accessible in Brazil? But then I did some research and find out it's a Disney Plus venture in Brazil. They're gonna have it on an app called Star Plus think that majority of the episodes are streaming. I love the show. The director of the show it was Carlos Saldanha. It's the same Brazilian guy that directed Rio, the movie, and also had Seu Jorge, like the actor slash singer. It's really good. Today we felt like it'd be good to talk about the show, but really what it is to be karaoke. Because for me, majority of the topics that we talk about on the channel are Brazilian. And I sometimes can't differentiate what is Brazilian and what is specific to being karaoke. I'm gonna go through six points because it's six episodes throughout the whole series of things that I noticed that are very Brazilian and I think maybe karaoke specific and she can give her perspective about whether it's actually karaoke or Brazilian. Before we start, you must understand Brazilians, people born in the country of Brazil. Carioca, people born in the city of Rio de Janeiro. And we have the city of Rio de Janeiro and also we have the state of Rio de Janeiro. Kind of like New York City versus New York State. So let's get into it. Spoiler warning, just for the sake of spoiler warning, I'm not going to talk about what happens in the show, but there's specific things that I'm going to mention from the show. The thing from the first episode that was Brazilian karaoke esque the Tejero uh -huh. and uh -huh. When they go there and being able to have a very deep connection with both your religion as it is in the church mm -hmm. and spiritually mm -hmm. with Orishas. Orishas mm -hmm. And, every, and the, the mix between the two is like, to me, only in Brazil can you be like, you know, I'm both. Because I think in the US it's always seen if you are spiritual and believe in Orishas, then you are definitely not in the church. Mm -hmm. Not going to church is like you are seen by people in the church as somebody that believes in false prophets, false mm -hmm. gods. I don't know that's specific to Rio being karaoke. No, no, no. It's a Brazilian thing, especially because you have the syncretism between the both religions, African religions plus the Catholic mm -hmm. religion. It's because a long time ago when you had the slavery, it's like it was not allowed for black people pray to Orishas and have the service. So they need to pretend that they are praying to Orishas using the Catholic sense. That's why you have the syncretism. So Yemanja and Candomblé is related with one cent in Catholic religion. That's why you have that. But it's a Brazilian thing. Majority of the cities that you see this type of syncretism will be the cities that receive more Africans than these Africans were slaves before. All right, second point from the second episode. Obvious, and it's not even the point, I just want to say is that the love of any gringo of Caipirinhas oh is unparalleled. We love it. If you haven't had it, when you have it, you will like it. It it's is true. undeniable. But the thing that I noticed to make a way out of anything. In this episode, the air conditioner was out and the lady bought in a bucket of ice and a fan. I haven't personally seen this in Rio or Brazil, but it looked genius. I've seen it done before, so I know it has to exist. Man, it's, Worldwide. it's a karaoke slash Brazilian. It's like Rio is so hot and the majority of the families there is not rich. We live in the suburbs, right? Mm. And our house in Brazil is not an AC 24-7 like in US. So you need to figure out, especially in the summer, to have cooler air in your face if you put the bucket of ice there. No, I think it's genius, but I saw that before. I don't know around Brazil because I never travel all Brazil, but 
for sure. This type of thing is what we say in Portuguese is gambiarra. It's like the way that you fix the things but not using the proper utensils. Oh man. New word for you guys, gambiarra. Some people here, especially in the South, have a term, but I'll just say part of the term is just to, to rig, rig something up. A car that has light switches in it. Gambiarra. And duct tape and WD-40 fix 90% of issues. Mm -hmm. So, yes, and that's genius in my personal yes. opinion. Genius. Third point, and I know this has to be a karaoke thing just because of the setting. And I gotta tell you what happened just so you understand. This guy passed out on the beach. And when he passed out, he was like, oh my God, what's going on? Hey, get this guy some matcha stack. He passed out. You're supposed to get water in his shade. He said, get him matcha. For those who don't know, matcha is like a tea. It's a tea. It's got sugar in it. You're not supposed to be just, no. No, get him matcha. Why? Because there's matcha in abundance if you're on the beach. But it's always some guy walking around with two jugs with matcha. And I think that that's very much a carryover thing just because of the beach scene. Matcha night. Is much ready to be available at beaches. That's the career of And what I like in this episode is more the life that we have when you go to the beach. A lot of things happen. You can spend a ton of money. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> because majority of people say when they travel to Rio, oh, go to the beach, it's free. Yes, it's free. But when you get there, Hustles. you can spend a lot of money every five minutes. Beer, caipirinha, corn, mate, polvilho, snack, queijo coalho, kiwi, kiwi, esfirra, sandwich, literally everything that you want, they sell on the beach. And it's very it's interesting to watch that and how the life happened in a Carioca beach. Okay. Next point that I notice is that the hustle, one, doesn't stop and doesn't know an age. It doesn't matter how old you are. I think that everybody born in that city comes out hustling. It's not necessarily to make money all the time. It's to make a way, to make your, figure out, figure out how to make you, what you want happen. If something is stolen, don't just automatically think they stole it because they to need sell. to sell and get money. Stole it to achieve a goal. Whoa, 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 I'm not the normal thief, you know? I, I am trying to make my life better. I think the way that people hustle in Rio de Janeiro, sometimes you don't even feel that you are being hustled. True. The art of the hustle <laughs> is the itself art. <laughs> is very different than Rio. There's another thing that is very particular to Carioca people. They make friends very easy. We do that. It doesn't matter who you are, where you're from. It's like, oh, you're my buddy now. When you see that situation happen, sometimes some people use that to get some type of advantage for you, especially that you are from another country. So yeah, you're my buddy, but uh, you know what? I drink a caipirinha. Do you want a caipirinha? Oh yeah, for sure. You are there, you are not paying nothing. Eating for free, drinking for free. Yeah, thank you so much. See you next time. <laughs> Let's go to our hustle, man. They hustle, it's an art. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so the fifth point, and I know this isn't a karaoke thing, the way that favelas are viewed versus, I guess, like here in the United States, a, a bad neighborhood. Bad neighborhood is a bad neighborhood. Very rare do you feel like if I go in this neighborhood, I can get some type of aesthetic pleasure or mm. gain some type of artistic mm. knowledge. But favelas is very different. It's a community and there is a lot of knowledge. It's a lot of culture. beauty. It's a lot of culture inside of that area, even though there's also a lot of criminal activity. The idea of the hood or a favela also being a place of cultural prosperity. I think that it's related with Carioca people in Rio de Janeiro. It's more that even people that grew up in Rio de Janeiro, they have this distance from favela. If you don't live in a favela, majority of people will always think that favela it's a bad place to go, and if you go there, something bad will happen with you. It's interesting for me to see how they show that, especially Carioca people, but it's like, as soon as you go, and as soon as you see all the culture, all the life, you can understand better the city. And the last point from the last episode is that this guy needed a passport. Oh my God. <laughs> he had less than 24 hours to get the passport and got that passport. <laughs> you can't do that in the US. That is something 
legally, no, he got a legal Brazilian passport. You cannot get a legal U.S. passport in under 24 hours. Uh, an emergency passport is legal too. I don't think you get it in 24 hours is my point. Maybe the tops can be like 48 hours. I've gotten a passport in a day in Korea. You I'm talk about why. In order to do that thing, I have to go to the embassy with police reports and all types of things. I don't know any place in the US that you have to go to the actual legal place and they're gonna let it just slide. Could be wrong, but I don't know if it being less than 24 hours, not a temporary passport, a legit passport ready to go. That gotta be some Brazilian stuff. If you know people, then know people, then know people. And it's a thing. I think that knowing people that know people that know people that know people, there's a genetic trait of everybody born in Brazil. <laughs> Dude needed to get somewhere quickly. He's like, I got 30 minutes. Oh, what you do? Hold on, let me make a call. He on a helicopter. Flying. <laughs> <All right. laughs> So those are the six points. Of course, there was a lot more, but I tried to condense it down. I want to know, where do you think are very karaoke specific things? And then maybe things that they may have missed. I think that in general, how they put on the screen the karaoke way of life is very true, very genuine. The easy way that we can make friends and how that making friends can benefit to you at some point of your life that you don't know when you need the person. <laughs> the relationship that we have with the city is like we love, but we also hate. Almost a, a toxic relationship because the city has so many problems, but at the same time, it's so beautiful. You see it there and you watch the sunset and it's like, oh, I love the city. And when you leave with that, you see something that you would like to see. And they showed that actually with Seu Jorge, that is the character, that is the carioca guy. And how they don't stereotype the carioca. The women just put in them in bikinis and this type of things, you know? They don't do that. I saw myself in so many ways in the show because I grew up in the city. That for me was amazing to see. The music that they use, the songs, some sambas, funk, bossa nova, doesn't matter. You feel really immersed in the city. That show had my heart. I hope that they have a second season. Very quick though, who found the show? I just want to make sure I know who found, found the show. Me not being from the city, I still thought that it was very well put together. Mm -hmm. All the stories flowed well, and it painted a picture of the entire city that showed both good and bad, but ultimately the beauty of it all. So as she said, June, yes. I highly recommend you watch it if you haven't. Hope that you like this video. Yes. And if you like this video, like the video. subscribe to the channel. And turn on the notification bell. And we'll see you in the next video. See you. Bye-bye. Kiss, kiss. Kiss, kiss.